tomorrow. At three o'clock, I think, Liz Truss will be delivering a 30-minute speech, which is supposed to be significant. Now, the question really is whether or not she's going to mess it up. There's some really good lines in it that have been leaked. One of them, we cannot have any more drift and delay at this vital time. Pause for applause. And we must break out of this high-tax, low-growth cycle. Pause for applause. At the same time, Kemi Badenoch is busy fighting with Suella Braverman. Penny Mordaunt uh, is going her own way against collective responsibility on benefits and apparently Lord Frost is, is agreeing with her. And, um, oh, 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 and the latest we hear is that Rhys Mogg, Rhys Mogg has been proposing to slash workers' rights. And we understand that uh, Liz Truss has stood up for workers and said, no, 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 we're not going to do this. So what is this? Is this another testing of the waters? Because we've heard this sort of stuff before. Apparently, the stuff which is being proposed by Mog is to reduce workers' rights in general, to allow a no-fault dismissal for workers earning more than £50,000 a year, to repeal the 48-hour week. Uh, This is all supposed to be part of his dash for growth to fund the 40 billion tax cuts. So to fund the rich, he's attacking the poor. Um, Scrapping reports on the gender pay gap. Uh, Messing around with holiday entitlement. The unions have said this is reckless and cynical, but, you know, is it actually, was it ever intended to happen? Or was it another bit of pushing pushing against the system, pushing to see how far it could push in the wake of Brexit. In the wake of Brexit, indeed, in the wake of Brexit, there have been other attempts. Ideas were pushed forward by Boris Johnson's group and then pulled back, pushing forward, pulling back, testing the waters, seeing at what point at what point these workers' rights can, in fact, be savagely attacked. And, you know, the general, the general consensus is tomorrow that there will be one fluttering tricolon to challenge Liz Truss, incompetent, useless and untrustworthy. I, you, you. Incompetent, useless and and untrustworthy. And I would add one more one more slogan, I mean, because we, we know that Liz Truss is a great fan of slogans. In fact, she doesn't seem to be able to get out of bed in the morning without a slogan. And she should have a new slogan. It's called Resign. Resign. Resign.